Hi, I'm Lindsay Beaton with Pet Food Forum TV, and today we're here with Dr. Greg Aldrich, Research Assistant Professor at Kansas State University, here at the university's Olathe campus during Pet Food Innovation Workshop, Next Generation Treats. Dr. Aldrich, can you explain what this facility is and what its purpose is? In short, it was designed by the university and the community, Olathe and Johnson County, to be an outreach facility uh, to extend the message and the mission of Kansas State University. So it is um, really being used to promote uh, K through 12 education initiatives as well as graduate research programs. Um, we are sitting in the center of the, uh, the animal health corridor and right next door to the Bioscience Authority for the state of Kansas. And so it's supposed to be, at the end of the day, an incubator for innovation and design. And why are we holding the workshop here today? What is, what is everybody up to? Well, the, the workshop today is being held in our research kitchens here, in research and teaching kitchens. Um, they are state-of-the-art facilities for doing new idea development or innovation in the areas of foods. And we're actually applying it to pet food treats. Uh, so we have 200 some odd uh, participants in our activity and they're all working through various stations in the various kitchen uh, areas. Uh, I don't mean to be redundant, but we have multiple, multiple places where they are doing work to develop new treats, uh, exploring new ingredients, new processes. And uh, this uh, is really focused on giving them a hands-on experience. So we want them to touch, smell, taste, feel, all of those things that would otherwise go into pet treats. And the idea, I assume, is that everybody will be able to take what they've learned today and take it back to their facilities and their companies and somehow incorporate it into what they're doing? That's the intent. So one of the goals is, is that they're able to uh, find or learn some new ideas that they can incorporate immediately back into their operation, maybe stimulate some new thoughts that they had never connected before, meet some new folks, uh, find some suppliers for those new ideas and ingredients and processes. And so the laboratories here, the research kitchen as it were, is supposed to be a technology uh, uh, innovation lab and it's supposed to be an incubator and the idea here is, is that we're incubating new ideas that they can take back. And this is a new thing we're doing at Pet Food Forum this year so are there any ideas for how we might expand this sort of thing in future years? From what I've seen so far people are pretty enthused so I, I, I'm tacitly thinking that we've got a success on our hands and we may want to do it again next year. And you have been the MC for Pet Food Forum for several years now. Yeah. With our new move to Kansas City and some of the new things we're doing this year, what are you most excited about seeing this week? I see Kansas City as being the center of the pet food universe. Uh, there's a lot of pet food manufacturing firms within driving distance. We have a number of uh, equipment suppliers in this region. Uh, we have a lot of ingredient suppliers in this region. So it really makes for a nice confluence of all of those folks to meet in this region. We also have a lot of elbow room here in the Kansas City metro area. The uh, city and the community really embrace uh, animal agriculture and animal uh, uh, nutrition and health. Being the animal health corridor, it's a natural fit in that regard. So I'm excited for people to come see our part of the world and have an opportunity to take them after the pet food workshop and forum to some of the various vendors and even over to Kansas State University in Manhattan to see some of what we have to offer there. So really for me the excitement is everybody's coming here. And it's obviously it's obvious that you're really enthusiastic about what you do and about us being here. What is your favorite thing about working in the pet food industry? Uh, probably the people. You know, I have met some of the most wonderful folks uh, in the pet food industry of any place I've ever been. Um, and what I've really found fascinating is, is that once people get into the pet food industry as a career, regardless of the company that they might be working, uh, they keep coming back and coming back and coming back. So it, it's really much like a reunion every year uh, to be able to see what old friends have done, where they're going next. And uh, most all of us have a deep, deep-seated passion for animals. And so that's sort of the galvanizing thing that brings us all together. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Aldrich. I really appreciate it. Lindsay, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.